one of the comments I received the most here on YouTube is how can you wear that it is too hot out so in this video we are going to be looking at six hot weather outfit ideas for when it is simply too hot outside so let's start off with number one these things are going to be your best friend and they are tank tops now tank tops are super versatile and the best way to wear them this year is underneath a camp collar shirt these are of course i've talked about them many times on the channel they're very trendy at the moment they come in all kinds of different shapes sizes and patterns but one of the ones that you should definitely wear in the summertime are ones that have a more crochet detail into them and the reason for that is just because there are going to be gaps in the fabric which is going to be more breathable and this is exactly what you're going to be looking for for that hot weather more breathable clothing and the best part is is that there's no compromise they're stylish they're affordable they're in trend right now and they're going to keep you cooler in the summertime the ones that i'm wearing here are from abercrombie they come in a number of different colors whether it's navy or a more of a knit version that comes in this nice beige now tank tops can actually be worn on their own and not just underneath a shirt and i like to wear them with sort of like a, a nice statement pair of pants something that has a little bit more pop to them which is why i went with a nice pleated wide fitting trousers i think that this is the best look as opposed to going with like a pair of skinny jeans or skinny chinos or something something having something that's a little bit more wide fit is going to be a bit of a trendier style and um you know something that has some pleated details it's going to have a more formal look since you're going to be dressing it down with the tank top um so overall you can put a really cohesive outfit together with just tank tops and a nice pair of wide fitting trousers um and don't take it from me there's other people that like to do it in fact uh one of my favorites is a guy on instagram brother with a beard he's got a great tiktok account as well um and he just you know pulls off these great fits with just a tank top and a nice pair of trousers now the next hot weather clothing item that you should go with are a pair of nylon shorts and the reason for that is because nylon shorts since it's not cotton they typically can come in a more wide range of colors um and so you can go with some bright ones here um but also they typically have a more sportier type of look to them and um the best part is is that if you start to sweat you know the nylon is moisture wicking so it's not going to be as uh, as obvious and uh going with something like a pair of fleece sweat shorts especially on a really hot summer's day you know things are going to start sweating up down there you definitely don't want that um that fleece is obviously something that is supposed to trap and keep the heat in so going with something that's nylon is also going to be more sportier they're going to come in brighter colors and they typically come in a nice above the knee fit so the more leg you show off the more your skin is able to breathe so it's a win-win there so when it comes to shorts you got to get a pair of nylon shorts now we all love a good graphic tee in the summertime and you definitely need to go for a more oversized fit and the reason for that is because wearing bag your fit clothing um especially for streetwear outfits is a bit more in trend at the moment um as opposed to something that's nice and tight and slim fitting that we saw maybe back in like 2016 for example having something that's a little bit looser fit is going to be more breathable it's going to be more airy and that is ultimately you know going to make sure that you stay cooler in the summer months also wearing tight shirts you're going to show off a lot of pit stains especially um you know so and then when you wear tighter shirts you got to be more conscious of you know the type of colors that you're wearing for example gray is going to show pit uh pit stains a little bit more so ultimately when it comes to wearing t-shirts and tops this year you definitely need to go with something that's a little bit more baggier now when it comes to summer footwear choices you might want to leave those air jordan ones and all of those air jordans at home and go for something that is a little bit more breathable and and conscious for for the summertime and one of my favorites is to go with a pair of mules um something like the Birkenstock Boston they are a, a, a footwear choice that has an open back to it and ultimately you can wear them with socks you can wear them with no socks and it still looks like a great outfit and the best part is is that um the suede ones that I have here can be a little bit pricey depending on your budget however they do make these EVA foam ones that are i think 60 bucks you can get them on sale and the best part is, is that because it's uh, uh, like a plastic or a rubbery type material you can get them in a wide range of colors and um another great option for there is something like a soft slip on shoe like a foam runner for example foam runners are very trendy at the moment they've been releasing in a number of different colors and it's one of the most popular footwear that's purchased on um you know secondary platforms like stockx for example and styling these is it uh, can be a little bit tricky however i have an entire foam runner styling video which you can click by hitting that uh, video at the top there to see some 10 great outfits if you want to find a more affordable option something like the merrell uh hydro mock is a great option and ultimately you can go with just a pair of slides right i leave those thong flip flops at home and leave those for the shower at the gym uh stick with some slides Yeezy slides are obviously a great option because the colors that they come in. I normally don't uh promote sort of fakes or dupes. There's a ton of affordable cheaper alternatives to the Yeezy slides on 
Amazon. I wear mine and I literally just wear them around the house and they're great for that. I don't know what you guys' budget options are, so you can definitely use some of the links that I provided in the description to shop some of those. Now, summer is the best time to sort of style brighter colors, of course. However, wearing these bright flashy colors can be tricky, but I got you guys. Here's some tips to style those brighter colors in the summertime. Number one um, is you're gonna wanna wear it as a statement piece. So if you have a t-shirt or a top that has this bright color to it, what you can do is actually wear it on its own, but keep the rest of your outfit pretty muted. Wear neutral colors to pair with the statement pieces. So stuff like black, white, gray, those are what's gonna make that, that outfit pop uh, without being overbearing without being too matchy, for example. And another tip that you can use is if you want to use a bright, we all, you know, have a, a you know a number of different sneakers, but if you have ones that are brighter, the way that you can wear it is similar, uh, is typically the same as you can use it to patch with other accent colors on your outfit. So if you have a graphic tee, you can use some of the colors on the graphic tee and make sort of make that influence your sneaker choices as well, um, which is something that I do. And I've mentioned that tip a number of times on the channel. Also, if you want to pair multiple colors at once, you can pair duller um, hues of those colors together. For example, the shirt that I'm wearing in this uh, video, it's not a, like a, a bright yellow and the sneakers are not like a bright green. They are sort of like a duller version of each of those colors, which means that they can pair well together. They don't clash, they're not overbearing, and everything is just sort of cohesive and is more of like a, a muted version of each of those colors. Now, depending on where you live, it could be super hot during the day and then chilly at nighttime. So you can bring a sweater with you and still have it be a, a part of your outfit, um, but just not worn in a traditional sense where it's going to be too hot. So one of the ways that I like to do it is simply just, you know, wrap it around your waist or for a more stylish option, you can sort of wrap it over your shoulder and have it complement your outfit. Now, the key to do this is that, you know, the sweater should also, you know, be within the same color tones of your entire outfit. Tying it over your shoulders is a really simple and easy way to sort of bring that sweater with you. You can wear it later at nighttime, but during the day, you know, you're still going to look fresh. So let me know in the comments your favorite hot weather styling ideas. I'm sure there's a lot that I can learn from you guys. And if you got any value out of the video, be sure to hit the like button and share with a friend. Um, and subscribe if you're new. For more styling tips on how to find a, the best affordable clothes, click that video right in the corner over here. Or if you wanna see some styling tips for you know the New Balance 550, one of the most popular sneakers of the year, click that video right there. So why don't we click on one of those and I'll meet you guys there.